Hey guys, good morning. Today is the second day in Niagara Falls. The plan for today is that we are going to Niagara on the lake and we are visiting three wineries. Thankfully, I got reservation in all three win wineries. Maybe not the actual package that I wanted, but it's still better. At least I'll get to visit those wineries. And due to coronavirus, I thought it would be stupid to take the wine tours because in tours, what happens is there's a bus, mini bus that comes and picks you up from your hotel and there are like around 10 to 12 people. So I think it's not a good decision to be doing those tours right now because you will come in close contact with people. So we decided to do a self tour, but the downside of doing that is in our case, because we don't have a car, we will be sp spending a lot in Uber, which is a total, total waste. I wish we had a car, but yeah, guys, if you have a car, I think that's the best way to go about it. But for now, but we'll let we you know, we'll let you know the total expenditure of Uber. I think yeah. to my own, to my calculation, it's equivalent to buying Taking a package. A tour? Yeah. I think online it was showing like 130, 120 to 130, 140 per person. So let's see how it goes today. And let me show you the view from our room for one last time. And this is how it looks. This view is amazing guys. I can just be here for like hours just looking at this view honestly. It's totally, totally worth it. So why don't you enjoy the view for one last time. So let me show you the outfit of the day today. It's all casual for today because I really want it to be comfortable. So these are the joggers from Misguided. And the top and jacket, this is from Zara. So we are just going to check out from this hotel and heading for breakfast. We are super, super hungry. So let's go. Bye bye to the hotel. So now we are heading for breakfast. We are actually going to a place called Flour Mills Restaurant. We, we have, have to half an hour to eat the breakfast because 12 o'clock we have to reach the first, first winery. And we have reached. It's actually in an old stone boutique hotel. Obviously, you're paying 20 21 bucks. Mm, this is so good. Mm. Since we are running late, we have packed our breakfast. So, we were not able to finish our breakfast. We packed it all. <laughs> and now we just got an Uber and we you are, are heading to. Yeah, we are running 10 minutes late. And we are heading to Trias Winery. It's like a nine, 20 minutes drive from here. Yeah. Hopefully we should be able to make it on time. I was walking out one evening late. I think we are in, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Around this fuss and fly. He walked by, asked me where I'm going Said if the sun set on me there I'd never make it home So we reached our first winery, it's the Trias Winery And yeah, 
I'm really really excited. It's my first experience at a winery. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's so nice. So, our reservation is at the loft. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm going to have you sit at this table there or this table over here. We'll make you momentarily. Sure. Dear Zuka, we're going to have some minis. I'll be right back with your third. Okay. Hey guys, this is our first experience. Yeah, and we're uh, just waiting for our turn now. So this is a menu that we have that re is reflective of what we call our loft. Mm -hmm. okay, this yeah. is a premium tasting room that we have, but we're going to focus on our small lot wines. So, so we, we can actually choose right three so wines for tasting. Blend. So we're just um, having a look at the menu. So we are actually getting one rosé. One rosé. And sparkling one. Yes. And in the white, we are getting wild fervent chardonnay. And in the red, we are getting their iconic Trieste red. I'm really, really excited. Me too. For you, so the brut rose is the first spark, is the first glass that you have. Yeah. And the brut rose is a blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So our showcase series, the grapes come from single vineyards. We don't do any blends of our showcase wines; mm -hmm. they're all single grapes. Oh, okay. All right. So you all enjoy, right. okay? All right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I love rose, so for me it's good. I think you didn't okay. I like, like it much. Now let's try the next white wine, white Chardonnay. Wild Foment. And this has lemon curd, allspice, red apple, oak. Interesting. To be honest, I don't have much knowledge about wines. I, all I know is this white wine has, is white wine is Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, and one more. That's it. Red wine, I know it's Merlot, or one more. That's it. Yeah, I don't really knowledge. have a lot of knowledge about wines, but but it's an experience. It's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. an experience. That's how you learn. Is like, how do you do it? How do you do this? I'm a whiskey person. <laughs> Cheers to our first time in a winery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saranj is just done with two wine tastings, and we still have to go like to three wineries. Three wineries. You, can you imagine, like, I mean, six more glasses of different wines to taste? Yeah. I'm gonna get drunk at the end of the day. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. This is the Trias one. Oh, yeah. Sure. This one is really good. You enjoy yeah. that one? Yeah, <laughs> it's very light and uh, it's very I mean, nice. Yeah. Good, I'm glad it you It has a very it. rich taste. It does, well, that's, and that's because that's the, the oak. The right. oaking of it being an oak yeah. for so long really gives it some nice depth. Yeah. Right. Did you enjoy the Chardonnay? Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. That's and the sparkling? Yeah, sparkling. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Of perfect. Of perfect. restaurant here we had no idea otherwise we would have had a brunch here actually but never mind now on to the next one yeah let's go to Pella Estate Pella Estate here's the entrance you walk all the way up the entrance to the road mm -hmm. which is John Street okay oh, that's right. and turn left right go to King and turn right perfect there you go guys Oh, 
Oh, awesome. All right. Thank you. Yes, how's it going? Do it, Emilia. Yes. yes. All settled? Yes, this place is actually really nice. I always forget to remove my mask, man. Let's have some water because we are going to be very dehydrated today oh, yeah. with all that wine. This place is amazing. I mean, such a laid back place. And they're playing countryside music. And then a dry rosy that has yeah. Pinot Noir mainly. Then you have a Pinot Noir itself. Yeah. And then ice wine, open nice with the very end. So yeah. that should be the last one. Yeah, awesome. Let's try all these wines here. Mm. How's it? It's nice. We actually like this one more because the first winery was indoors. Indoor, yeah. So, I mean, they had outdoor space, but the reservation that we got was for the loft. But this one is really nice. It's a bright, sunny afternoon, and we are enjoying a lot of wine here. So here we are actually trying six different wines. So you can basically get three tastings each. So we thought why not just order six different wines because you can always try different flavors, right? Now that I've tried nine different wines, I've lost the taste. taste. I don't know which one is good, which one is bad. It happens like when you reach the last one. You've become slow. <laughs> the wine is hitting me. I'm really, really excited to try the ice wine. So let's try I heard a lot this one. Heard a lot, lot about it. Oh, it's so sweet. It says perfectly sweet notes of yellow plum, sweet spice and toffee. So ice wine is really, really sweet, but it's definitely a must try. It's different. I've never had ice wine before. It feels weird mixing all sparkling white, red, desert wines. Mm, uh, become slow. After tasting, we'll just explore the vineyards. You can walk through the vineyards if you want. Yeah, take a hike in there. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah. We'll definitely yeah. go for okay. some you. photographs. Cheers, guys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Beautiful day for that. Eh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did it come? Yeah. This is the first time I heard someone saying, "Hey, it's a very Canadian thing." <laughs> It's a beautiful day, eh? Now try the ice wine. Well, let's try it. Let's see Saranj's reaction. It's actually really nice, but it's very sweet. It's like a syrup, man. But it's nice. You can drink it. Good stuff. Trying for the first time. Yeah. It's like if you want to have a dessert and you don't want to eat something, you just want to drink, go for this one. Yeah. Ice wine it is. Okay. So, we are over with the wine tasting at the Pella Estate as well. Earlier Saranj was feeling sleepy and now I am feeling sleepy too. We'll probably just walk around this winery and then we really want to go to the Niagara on the Lake downtown. I don't know if we can make it. It's like a 10 to 15 minutes walk from here. We'll figure Maybe, out. yeah, we'll figure out because the next uh, stop is at four o'clock, which is, we still have like two hours. So at four, we have to go to Consulman Winery. Yeah, let's figure out what we do for the next two hours. Let's go check it out, what's there. Yeah. So these are all the grapes here. This is the first time that we are out from the downtown Toronto. But I'm tired. I think we have reached the main city. So definitely looking forward to try the peach wine. We were able to squeeze out time for each of these wineries. 
Finally we made it. Finally we made it. We were about to miss our train. Oh.